1969. Now, here's a Pac-12 statement. This was just released. They didn't have this when we walked in the door today. This is a joint statement from all of the members of the Pac-12. The 10 Pac-12 universities look forward to consummating successful media rights deals in the very near future. Based upon positive conversations with multiple potential media rights partners over the past weeks, we remain highly confident. Our future growth and success as a conference and united in our commitment to one another. Now, one of the first responses to this statement was from Pat Forty, who's a national writer, and it's like everyone remain calm, everything's going to be okay. And you wonder, uh, you know, that means, and you notice deals with S, of course, deals, not just a deal. And I don't know if this is something because it's about to be imminent or just another way to kind of like everybody take a deep breath. This is going to work out. And I hope that it does for them in the long run with now the Big 12 looking at what might be their phase three or step three under Brett Yormark, the commissioner. I don't think that the Big 12 has the juice right now to be the one that ends the Pac-12. I think the Big 10 does, but the Big 12 doesn't. And I don't know if they would, I mean, they might uh, send Klyovkov out to go to San Diego State and and SMU and, and talk about adding those schools if they weren't, you know, serious about it and and ready to go and do it finally, because you don't want to make the the mistakes of the Big Twelve. I do think though that the Big Twelve, if they don't have like if expansion is the third thing, like Mac told me on Friday, that Brett Yormark had kind of said is the three things that he wants to look at. If that's the third thing, the only reason to me it would have to happen, you know, right now is if the demise of the Pac-12 is imminent and those four corner schools are in the water. I don't know if they really are or not, because if you look at, you know, some of the things that go beyond football research grants and the money, like they're, you know, Arizona state is like $300 million that they've increased over the years in, in Pac-12, you know, research grants. That's, that's a lot more per, you know, you know, a little time period than the TV rights deal. So those things all have to be considered too because of the deals they have academically with those schools in the Pac-12. So Arizona State can say they're upset all they want, and that's true, and, and they can they can throw a fit. But I don't know if, if right now is the time for them to consider moving unless the Pac-12 is just in such a, a, a bunch of disarray because they are now in position to be – one of the two Southern California schools, and yes, I know they're not in Southern California, but their base of students, the where they're going to go to recruit not only their athletes for the most part, but their students is Los Angeles, and they can really have a corner on that market before anybody else. So I don't know. I mean, it's interesting. I wouldn't, I don't see that as imminent or if it makes sense right now. Would I love to see Arizona State play regular games in the Big 12? Sure, that'd be great. But I, I still don't – I don't see the Pac-12 as imminently collapsing. Yeah, I don't either. I mean, I see a lot of talk about the Arizona schools and uh, come on over to the Big 12 or, you know, some contingent of the four-corner schools. But I, I just don't know how much sense that makes for even the Big 12 right now. I mean, is that the move that you want to make and need to make? And is that what is going to make you even more whole moving forward? I mean, do they shake the – the trees that much, the money trees, I, I don't know that they do. I don't feel like the calculations say that they do, that they would raise prospects that highly. Um, but I know that there are, you know, people on that side of the fence that are feeling the the urge to, you know, hop on over because they don't have a whole lot of confidence in the direction of the Pac-12 right now. And that certainly seems like, you know, a pretty empty and vague statement that they just released to just basically give some confidence to their fans and to the people who are doubting, you know, where they are right now. But, you know, I am doubting this, this TV deal of theirs and wondering what is taking so long. And uh, if I was a, you know, institution that was involved, I would sure have a lot of questions and be feeling a little bit nervous right now about what exactly we're looking at numbers wise. And more importantly, exposure wise, like if this is a mainly streaming deal, like it's been talked about so, so widely, I mean, I know you can try and spin it and say, well, it's on Amazon or it's it's on some, you know, uh, I guess, alternative to Amazon, like Apple TV or whatever. But, 
I mean, if you're mostly broadcasting just on streaming, that's not going to probably go all that well. You can spin it all you want to, but that's that's not really where you want to be, and, and especially for a network that already has a hard time getting eyeballs on it most of the time because of the time zone differences. So I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the, the tone of this message just being that it's basically an empty, vague message that's just like, hold on, just keep waiting. We're going to have this soon enough, guys. That's a little alarming to me that it's taking this long and that there's not – really a whole lot of positive like even the 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 you know supposedly unbiased national reporters even like taking digs at the pack and how long is this taking at this point you know same guys who like maybe a couple months ago were like this could be a broad streaming deal and they could be the first to latch on to apple tv as a college conference and you know that's what it was you know for a moment and now you fast forward and still nothing's changed except for I think the prognosis has gotten a little more dire because you're realizing like yeah there's not a lot of prime time real estate available to them and I, I don't know that that bodes well for a conference that will be losing the Los Angeles market. So uh, I'd still have my concerns. I don't think, though, like you guys said, that it's the, the death knell, that like this struggle to finalize this deal or whatever is occurring behind the scenes, I don't think that that speaks to imminent death of the conference and then a fracturing of all the schools. I think that they are going to try and hold on as best they can because of geography reasons, academic reasons, cultural reasons, or what have you. Um, and don't mistake, you know, Arizona fan on Twitter for being Arizona president trying to make these, you know, big decisions. Although, like I said a couple times now, I would be a little bit nervous at this point about what exactly is going on and taking so long. And I think it, you know, just the fact that the Big 12 raced to the table the way that they did, I think that's going to be an interesting decision to look back on years from now and even look at right now and say, like, how important was that that your mark and them said, we're jumping up a year ahead of time. We're not going to wait another year. We're going to jump to the front of the line and get a deal and swipe as much primetime real estate as we can from the, the major networks. I think that that was smart, but does that lead all of these different things we're talking about to the Big 12 poaching and crushing the pack? I don't think that it does right now. I'm, I'm with Paul on that. I, I don't think that it does, but... You know, crazier things have happened. Well, it's uh, it's a statement that was just released, Jack. Thank you very much for, for getting that up. It happened right as we were going on the air. And, and, and it could be a sign of solidarity, and it could just be treading water, kicking the can down the road. Uh, not sure what it is. I know a lot of people still go back and forth about who does this or who would want whom. And to me, we are so far past that bitterness of who would want whom. The Big 12 is just fine. They've survived one sledgehammer after another. Nebraska, Colorado, Missouri, and A&M, and Texas and Oklahoma, although that still remains down the road, although they now have the future, and they have figured it out, and I don't know what the Pac-12 yep. is going to do. But when you consider everything, like what would have to happen for schools to, to leave, um, when we've seen, like, recently schools leaving – the conditions and uh, I need to Emory and I need to probably clip it, but um, I talked to Jeff Smullyan the other day, uh, Smokey, on Thursday at the Super Bowl, and he is a big time. I mean, you know, he's the first guy who hired David Letterman. He's the you know created he he created WFAN. He hired Mike and the Mad Dog. Uh, he's got a lot of things, but he is involved. Uh, he's on the board at USC, and so he had some insight on the decision to leave, and that was the Pac-12 was just in a spot where you know, they could only make so much money, and USC saw that the Big Ten was just a better money-making opportunity, so they left, and, and UCLA with them. Uh, they were both in similar spots. Um, and then if you look at Texas and OU, Texas and OU just felt that their, their, their brands had hit some sort of a wall in the Big 12 and blamed the Big 12 for that uh, as opposed to their role in that and then said, look, we can just, we're Texas and OU, we can go to the SEC. Uh, A&M, Missouri, Nebraska, and Colorado were all sick of Texas. Like, that's why they left. That was what brought that on was they felt like they had no agency in the conference and they got mad because of the Longhorn Network and left. So everything's been different along the way, but for schools like Arizona, Arizona State to leave, they're going to have to be mad at somebody or this got to make sense for them down the line more than that. And I don't know that it does. And, and at least money-wise right now, it might be a lateral move at best to the Big 12. So it's got to make it better for them. And I don't know at this exact moment if it does. 
Uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll see at the timing. You know, one of those somebody one of the responses also is you would normally see a statement like that come out on Friday. No, normally the news dump is something when there's you know it's bad news and you're trying to hide it because everyone's going home for the weekend and maybe already gone from work. Just a couple of other notes to pass along from college.